Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Spider Monkey Eats. Today we are going to do some oven roasted sweet potatoes with rosemary as the base. Sweet potatoes are very diverse. You can do savory or sweet. Um, these are organic sweet potatoes from Misfits Market. Um, I brought up Misfits Market a lot in my other videos if you guys want to look at those, but it's all organic produce sold for less. So they have a few imperfections, but they're still great food. So we're going to start, I already cut up some sweet potato and we're going to do the rest. So I wash it. Um, if you have a scrubbing brush, you can use that to get off a little excess because I like to keep the skin. If you don't have a scrubbing brush, I just wash it really well with my hands. So I will cut off the end because I don't need that. Okay, but we're just going to slice down the side. These are kind of rough sweet potatoes, so just be careful. Okay, that's about maybe a half an inch. Okay, when it starts getting to a funny edge, we can just turn, just so it's nice and sturdy and we're safe while cutting. And then I will try to make the pieces relatively similar in size, um, so that they cook pretty evenly. Okay, so as I've mentioned in also previous videos, not perfect knife skills, but we do what we can to make it work. So we'll roughly cut these, then we are going to coat them in some extra virgin olive oil. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees, okay, because I want these to be able to go right in. I want the oven nice and hot. These are going to take closer to about 45 minutes in total, but we are going to put them in the oven. We're going to move them around every like 15 minutes I like to check on them just to make sure that they don't stick to the pan to the sheet pan. Okay, so I'll show you after the first 15 minutes how we do that as well. All right, well, it might as well go right here because we are moving. Get this out of our way. All right, so we have our cut up sweet potatoes. We're gonna put in a bigger bowl so that we can stir these around with some seasonings and some olive oil. So, I'm going to take a tablespoon, probably going to use two tablespoons because there's actually a lot in here. But it's good to measure it out just so you have an idea what you're cooking with. You don't want it oversaturated, but you want everything nice and evenly coated. So again, there's a lot. I had some big sweet potatoes. So we're going to go two tablespoons for my seasonings. So, we're gonna do some fresh ground black pepper. I have some garlic powder, I have onion powder, and I have rosemary. So I have mentioned that I have a little rosemary plant, um, but if you cannot get that, I do like to get this organic, simply organic brand, because the seasonings um, definitely taste really fresh and good, so I like to have them for like my cinnamon, I have thyme from them, so a bunch of stuff, so if you see them, not necessary, but I like it. So I'm gonna show you guys with some store seasoning. And then I have some kosher salt, normally use sea salt, um, but that's what I have on hand right now. So we're gonna make it work. We're gonna grind some fresh black pepper. So if you, if you guys don't like a lot of pepper, don't go for it. You know, I like, I definitely like things peppery as my mother would say, okay? She's not always too fond of my pepper seasoning, but I like a little kick and a little flavor, a lot of flavor, okay? If you're gonna make healthy food, you might as well make it taste good. So now this is my garlic powder, okay? So we're just gonna sprinkle that. I've mentioned before, there's never too much garlic, so I like everything nice and coated, okay? So that's our garlic powder. We have some onion powder. Again, nice and evenly coated. There's a lot in here, so it's all going to, you want flavor on every bite. This is our rosemary. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm actually gonna open this a little bit, put a little bit in my hand, because I don't want these huge chunks. I want it all over, but I can just break it up a little bit more, just so they're a little bit smaller pieces. If you had fresh rosemary, you can cut it or break it, but it also is gonna, make it a little bit more aromatic if you're chopping something, if it's fresh. Um, 
but I just want to show you guys you can use dried and it's perfectly good. And then we're going to do a little pinch of some salt. Okay, so we coated it with our olive oil. So we're just going to stir this around, make sure everything is nice and evenly coated. We are also going to spray our pan because we don't want anything to stick just in case the olive oil didn't get every single spot on every single piece. There is a chance that that does not happen. Okay, so we just want that olive oil flavor. We want everything to crisp up. That's why we're coating it in olive oil because I want these nice and golden when I take them out of the oven. So the oven is on 400. It, it, you, can, you can put it up a little bit higher if you want to you know, speed up your cooking time, maybe 425, but 400 is pretty safe. But just know you're making this at a time that I'm home, you know, I have the time to let it cook properly because I want it nice and golden. Okay, so we have those. We are going to spray our sheet pan, just again, make sure things don't stick, so let's go light. This is olive oil spray as well, Trader Joe's, love Trader Joe's. And let's see, I'll bring this over here. All right, so I want to make sure I have enough room so that these can breathe. I do not want them to steam, so I need to make sure there's room. If I feel any more room, which I may, um, I will prepare a second sheet pan so that they can have enough space. If I could pile these all on here, but they will steam and not crisp up. They'll cook, but they're not gonna get that nice golden crisp that you want. So we're just gonna make sure these have enough room. So I wouldn't want them piled up. Um, some people will make the same recipe and say, why didn't mine come out crispy like that? Um, you know, almost, almost as if they were fried. If you take the patience to cook them at a high temperature for long enough, they're gonna come out nice and crispy but they need room because these are all going to steam. This is going to reduce. You're going to see how much smaller these actually get because the water is cooking out of them. That's why they need to breathe because they are letting out water. So, all right, so I'm not even going to put any more on here. I will prepare my other sheet pan after and rotate in the oven. But for now, we're going to put these in, okay? What I am going to do though, I'm going to put just a little bit extra seasoning on top, just mainly of my pepper, again, like my peppery, flavorful foods, and then a little bit if I would like. If I am preparing for a fight, I do cut out excess salt, but it gives everything good flavor, so a little light amount is good. We already did our onion and garlic powder. If I want to add more, I can, but I know, nice light touch. So again, oven is set for 400. We're going to throw this in for 15 minutes, okay? I, they are not going to be done in 15 minutes. We will toss them and we will keep them in a few more sets of 15. All right, so we will check on these in 15 minutes. There's our timer. All right, so we're gonna take these out. They were in for 15 minutes. I had made my second sheet tray because I wanted to make sure that they had some room. I'm gonna take these out, definitely not done, so, but we do need to move them to make sure that they don't stick. We're gonna do this. Again, we're gonna put them in for 15 minutes, stir them around. We don't want them to stick to the bottom, okay? And then they're gonna need 15 more minutes, so about 45 minutes at 400. I'm assuming they're going to be nice and crispy, okay? Every time it might take a little bit longer, a little bit less, but we're gonna do this again. Put it in for 15 minutes, stir it up, take it out, stir it up, 15 more minutes. So about 45 minutes total cooking time at 400 and these should be nice and golden brown. So I mentioned before, if I have two sheet trays in, I'm gonna rotate them. So I will take this next one out. I'm just gonna move it for now up. Okay, especially this is a little thicker pan. Okay, if it's thinner, they're gonna cook differently. So I'll move that down, stir these around, and I'll keep doing that for every time I take it out. So again, we're just moving these around, make sure they're nice and spread out, not sticking to the pan. All right, nothing sticking, because again, I sprayed this with some olive oil too. They are coated lightly, but we always want to spray to make sure. We 
will put these back in. Set our timer for 15 minutes, take them out, toss, and then set them up again for another 15 minutes. And then we will be back after that. All right guys, our timer went off. Remember we put it for two more rounds of 15 minutes. Looking nice and golden, we're gonna take these out. Gonna move them around a little bit. Oh, look at that, see? A little nice and crisp. You can tell they're soft, golden. That's why we had to move them around so they get nice and evenly golden. Perfect. All right, so we are gonna put some in a dish. Well, let's see. Maybe okay, I can use my nifty trick. Might work. Normally does. Okay, so we scrape it off to make sure none of them are stuck. Make cleanup easy. So we have our oven roasted rosemary sweet potato. Check that out. Look how nice, golden, crispy. I can finish with a little bit of my salt and a little bit of pepper. Just to make sure we're good, we will give it a try. All right, so, ah, uh, look at that. Mm. Nice and soft, and then it still has the crunch on the outside from, again, coating it lightly with the olive oil. Make sure you're rotating in the oven. So these took 45 minutes without prep time, okay? So that was in the oven. So we did 400 degrees, 15 minutes, turn, rotate, 15 minutes, turn, rotate, another 15 minutes, took them out and this is exactly what they look like. So, these are one of my go-to staples. I mentioned with rosemary today, but you can do like a cinnamon. I do cayenne. You can literally put whatever you want on sweet potatoes and they will probably come out fabulous. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or anything you want cooked, or maybe a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comments. If you guys like this video, if you guys like sweet potatoes because they're awesome, definitely give this video a thumbs up just so I know that you guys enjoyed this and then if you want to see more videos on Spider Market Eats just subscribe to our channel Ultimate MMA Plus so that you guys don't miss a video. Hopefully you enjoyed this and thank you for joining me.